Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss about very important topic, examination of JVP. So jugular venous pulse, which is a very important particles. So why you want to measure JVP? JVP is a reflection of right atrial pressure. For example, when I go, when I am going to measure JVP, if JVP is elevated, that means right atrial pressure is elevated. So right atrial pressure is increased in right heart failure, tricuspid regurgitation pericarditis and so on. So whenever right atrial pressure is increased, JVP will be elevated. So now I am going to discuss today how to measure that jugular venous pressure. So this is the art, right atrial pressure, just concentrate. So this is external jugular vein, this is internal jugular vein. Just concentrate, yeah, this will be the superior vena cava and you can see here the brachiocephalic vein. What I want to mention is internal jugular vein is directly continuing with right atrium or the jugular venous pressure it is always better to measure the pulsation in the internal jugular vein. So whatever measure in the internal jugular vein is a direct continuation with the right atrium. External jugular vein you see the direction it has to come like this and it is coming like this. So it is having various obstructions or it is external jugular vein is covered by various fascias, coverings. So if they, if they ask which jugular vein is better to measure JVP or to check whether JVP is elevated? The answer is internal jugular vein, you can see the diagram. Next question, normal right atrial pressure is 0 to 5 millimeter mercury. And this right atrial pressure is reflected onto internal jugular vein. So now you can see I am measuring the JVP at an angle of 45 degree. See the couch, I have kept at an angle of 45 degree, you can able to see the pulse here. Yeah, this is the pulsation. Now I have a doubt whether the pulsation which I see here is arterial pulse or venous pulse. Yeah, when I keep here, it is disappearing. When I take, I am able to see. So arterial pulse is usually felt, not seen. But here, yeah, you can see the pulsation when I palpate, it is disappearing. So this is venous pulse and mostly it is jugular venous pulse. Now see, I am bringing it back to zero degree. Mm. Now what happens, see? that pulsation disappears or at 0 degree or when the couch is at straight line, the pulsation goes behind the clavicle. But when I am bringing it, yeah, at an angle of, now it is an angle of 45 degree, I can clearly see the pulsation. Right atrium, sternal angle, 5 centimeter. Otherwise, the distance between the sternal angle and the right atrium is approximately 5 centimeter. So now the final thing, the procedure, localizing the sternal angle. So just I am see here, yeah, manubrium, manubrium, yeah, the elevation. Just to concentrate, yeah, this uh, again true, manubrium, manubrium, there is elevation. So this is sternal angle, which I have marked. And so what I do, I keep a scale, two scale has to be used for measuring JVP from the sternal angle. I keep the scale exactly 90 degree. Imagine the venous pulse is here. Normally, I'm, I have showed you then where it was actually. Now it is here. So what I will do? Yeah, now it is very easy. I will keep the horizontal scale from here. Yeah, correct. So this is straight horizontal scale. This is straight vertical scale. Now I have to measure this vertical distance. So this scale is from the sternal angle at an angle of, is lying at an angle of 45 degree. This scale is at the vertical from sternal angle and this scale will be coming from where I am able to see the pulse. So this vertical is called the measurement of JVP. For example, here I am able to see 3 centimeter, but imaginary, but actually this pulsation was seen only here. That means it is only 0.5 centimeter and 1 centimeter. For understanding, I kept it here and now it is going to be 3 centimeter. See here. So two scale method, this is called two scale method. One scale is above the sternal angle, another scale is from the point of venous pulse, I am keeping the horizontal scale. So I can't keep it like here. Uh, for example, if the venous pulse is here, what I will do? Yeah, the scale will come here, the distance reduces. If it is here, this is simple, see here. So this is 0.5 centimeter, yeah, 2 centimeter. Yeah, if I keep it here, yeah, it is around 6 centimeter. Put it down, whatever centimeter I am going to measure with this scale, it is above the sternal angle. Normally, JVP will be 2 to 3 centimeter above sternal angle plus 5 centimeter I will add. So always whatever the distance, for example, if I have measured 
3 centimeter distance means to this 3, I will add this 5 centimeter, I already told the distance between here, this 5 centimeter I have to add, very simple, sternal angle to right atrium is 5 centimeter, from sternal angle, uh, this you concentrate, from sternal angle I am using the vertical scale, here, from the sternal angle, whatever I get, if I get 5 centimeter, it will be a 10 centimeter. If I get 2 centimeter, it will be 7 centimeter. 2 to 3 centimeter is okay. Today's video, we just saw to measure JVP by 2 scale method, whether JVP is elevated or not. So, to finalize summary, JVP is nothing but reflection of right atrial pressure. Why I am using internal jugular vein? Internal jugular vein is in direct continuation of right atrium to measure JVP at an angle of 45 degree. Hope this video was useful for you. We will meet in next video.